Yo, what's up, you guys? So one of the main questions that a lot of people ask me is this, Josh, how do you feel it before you have it? Or how do you assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled, as Neville Goddard liked to put it, in order to manifest your desires? And well, today I'm going to teach you guys on how to do it, step by step. In fact, I'll even share with you the exact exercise that Neville's friend Abdullah actually taught him, which I think you'll find to be really helpful, you know what I'm saying? So if you're in a place where you're trying to manifest your desires but aren't seeing any results, then yo, you're going to love this one. All right, let's do this. In his lecture called The Secret of Prayer, Neville talks about how the key to manifesting your desires is this, motion. Let me say that again. The key to manifesting your desires is motion. Or should I say mastering inner motion to be more specific? Now, what the heck does that mean? Here's the actual exercise that Neville learned from Abdullah. Ready? Every day, Neville would sit in his living room where he couldn't see the telephone that was in the hall, okay? And with his eyes closed, listen, he would assume that he was in the chair by the phone. And then he would feel himself back in the living room. Still with me? And he'd do this over and over again, which helped him to discover what? The feeling of changing motion, the art of movement. Here's an example Neville gives. Let's say right now you're in Los Angeles and you want to go to New York City. But the problem is, is that you don't got the money nor the time to make it happen. At least you think so. But here's a cool thing. In your imagination, what can you do? You can assume that you're already there, right? The mere act of assumption. And if you're assuming that you're in New York City, you got to get this. Anyone you think of in Los Angeles must be where? 3,000 miles away. You can't just think of them as being down the street. Nah, dude, you'd see your friends relative to New York City. Not from LA, you guys. Why? Because you moved inwardly to the place where you want to be. Is this making sense? All right, let me give you a taste of what this feels like. Let's do a little exercise. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to close your eyes. Do that for me right now. Close your eyes. And just where you are, whether you're at home or in your office, it doesn't matter. I want you to imagine that you're in the room next to you or in a room nearby, one that you're familiar with. And I want you to imagine yourself sitting on whatever there is to sit on, like the chair or the bed or couch, whatever. Sit yourself there. You got it? Now, feel the texture of it, that thing you're sitting on. Is a chair hard? or the couch or bed soft, what does it feel like? Okay, what does it feel like? Still keep your eyes closed. Next, I want you to feel yourself there to the point where you actually begin to see everything relative to where you're now sitting in your imagination. So if something was to the left of you before, like the kitchen, maybe it's to the right of you now, like a directional change. Got it? You feel like you're there? Now, bring yourself back. That's it. <laughs> you can open your eyes now. Did you feel the shift from one room to the other? That's inner motion, folks. You moved inwardly in space and time. And don't worry, it gets easier the more you practice. So, why does all this matter? This is how manifestation works. Remember, Neville says that you are all imagination. All imagination. And if you're all imagination, listen closely, then you must be where you are in imagination. Eventually, it'll be objectified. Get it? All right, real talk. What's your desire today? Okay? And don't be shy about it. Are you hard up with money or having problems in your marriage or struggling with your health? Look, whatever your desire is, here's how to move from the problem state to its solution. Ask yourself, what would it be like if your desire were a reality right now? How would you feel like if you were already the person you want to be? Then move into that space inwardly and catch that feeling. Catch that mood. Think from it. Move toward a change in your bank balance. Move toward a change in your marriage or in your health. In other words, move toward the solution and persist in it. And then here's what's going to happen. Neville says that when you're moving in your imagination to where your desire is already a reality, then you're preparing a place 
for your desires to be fulfilled. So when you return, you'll walk through a series of events which will then lead you to where you have placed yourself and you will get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and of course help spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.